Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories. We start with Ousmane Dembele. As it has been reported that the Barca forward is a top candidate for club captaincy for the upcoming season. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Neymar. As it has been reported that Barca declined the opportunity to resign Neymar this summer for two principal reasons. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Osman Dembele will be entering his seventh season as a Barcelona player in the 2023-24. The 26-year-old arrived at the club back in 2017 as a replacement for Neymar, who had left for PSG in a world record fee. Barca spent over 100 million euros to sign Dembele, but the winger has not had it easy during his time in Catalonia. Despite his obvious qualities, the Frenchman had been held back by injuries that have stopped him from reaching the height expected. But over the past 18 months or so, things have improved significantly under the tutelage of Xavi Hernandez. Dembele has grown into an important player at Barca and was pivotal to their success last season. And now, Heading into the 2023-24 campaign, Sports is reporting that the 26-year-old attacker is a top candidate for club captaincy. With Jody Alba and Sergio Busquets leaving the club, two of the four captaincy slots have become vacant at Barcelona, with Sergio Roberto and Mark andre Ter Stegen occupying the other two positions. With Xavi confirming a vote will be undertaken, to decide the captains for the next season, Roberto and Ter Stegen are expected to retain their roles. It had been suggested that Ronald Araujo and Robert Lewandowski were front runners for the remaining two slots in the leadership group. But Dembele has also emerged as a serious contender due to his importance in the team, maturity and drive to succeed at the club. The 26-year-old is keen on continuing his partnership with Barca and is looking to renew his contract. Despite interest from PSG, manager Xavi is pleased with his involvement and contributions and he is well-liked in the dressing room. Being one of the most senior members in the current squad, only Roberto and Ter Stegen have been at the club longer than Dembele. Dembele is now seen as someone who can don the leadership responsibilities. Of course, the issue of captaincy has been raised quite a good number of times since Busquets and Yuri Alba decided to, you know, decided to leave the club at the end of last season. And of course, with Ter Stegen and Roberto knowing their place already, Roberto being the main captain for next season and Ter Stegen being the second captain, of course, Barca have always had this tradition of having four captains. It means Roberto will be the main captain and having three other assistants. That is how it have always been. So Javi himself have said there will be a vote on that matter as to who will take all of the two the two slots that are now vacant by the departing Busquets and Alba. Of course, but um, Barcelona will conduct a vote before next season kicks off. And there have been a lot of reports talking about Usman Dembele will likely be one of them because of his longevity. Apart from Ter Stegen and um, Sergio Roberto, you know, the, um, the winger has been there for a long time. This is his seventh season that is about to start. And of course, Dembele is a player that, you know, have qualities. But personally, I think he is not a good leader. I don't see Dembele as somebody who can lead. Everybody has their own opinions. So whatever is being decided, so be it. But Xavi himself have confirmed that. They shall be voting. There shall be players who would partake in voting. Of course, to see who will be the next two captains to occupy the empty slots left by the two cap the two former captains, Busquets and Alba. 
there have been a lot of people saying that Lewandowski should be the the next captain because he's he's a good leader on and off the pitch and Ronald Araujo has also been a strong contender for that role of course we're talking about two slots so we're talking about two players will be captains two players will join the captain list among the four total that Barca needs so who will that be will it be Dembele will it be Ronald Araujo and or will it be Dembele and of course Robert Lewandowski or other or some other player it's all open for everybody to partake as anybody can wish to join to be to to be um, the captain for Barcelona but of course we need a captain that we you know will lead the team to glory we need somebody who can lead who can talk somebody who is vocal somebody who has the authority who of course give the right directions to his other players to his other colleagues uh, for me personally, I don't see Dembele as that type, but let's see. He can still take it. He, there's still a big chance that he will be one of those two players who will be voted as the new captains for Barca from next season onwards. Then on to the next story of discussion. Of course, following their failure to bring Messi back to the club this summer, Barca were offered an opportunity to resign another of their former superstars in the form of Neymar. The Brazilian icon's time at PSG appears to be running out and reports suggested that he was keen on a return to Barcelona, whom he left in 2017 in a world record 222 million um, euro fee. Now, Mundo Deportivo is reporting that Neymar was indeed offered to Barca this summer by his representatives along with super agent Pini Zahavi, who has a good working relationship with club president Juan Laporta. With Messi opting to join Inter Miami over Barcelona, Neymar's agent saw a window of opportunity to help him secure a move back to Catalonia. And with Zahavi involved, the Brazilian was offered to the La Liga champions in the ongoing transfer window. However, Barcelona were quick to shoot down the chance to bring the Brazilian superstar back to the club due to two reasons. The report suggests that the Blagrana's technical staff did not have any doubts about Neymar's quality. After all, manager Xavi Hernandez even played with him. However, one of the primary reasons for rejecting the PSG star is the financial aspect, signing Neymar from Ligue 1. Champions PSG would be an expensive operation, while his wages would be a whole different issue, especially when Barca are struggling with financial fair play. Secondly, Barca did not want to disrupt the harmony of their bonding within the dressing room by bringing Neymar, who can be a divisive figure. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.